One of the most important duties of a board is to appoint a chief executive officer. And one of my proudest moments goes back to 2002 when I was able to lead the board to the appointment of Ed Clark and his management team. And they've done a fabulous job on growth, which the board has supported. If you think back to that time, our market value was about $19 billion. Today it stands at $64 billion, a threefold increase, which is terrific growth for our shareholders. Well, we focused on growing our retail franchise, and that means um, growing in the United States as well as Canada. I think we've also focused on um, new opportunities that have come along in wealth management, for instance, in electronic banking or insurance. The first thing that comes to mind is service and convenience. I think that um, the fact we've won all the uh, awards like J.D. Power or Cinevate for the best customer service speaks to itself. TD has an enormous focus on talent. and We invest in and we develop our people. I think our employment brand is, is very good and well known to everybody and so we attract the very best when we're recruiting. And we have a very strong performance culture. So the employees at TD know that their career is based on their skills and on their personal performance. Cycles come and go, we've always seen them. Although I would say the most latest downturn has been the worst I've seen. The business is far more competitive globally uh, it's far more electronic, so we've seen many new ways of, of doing banking, whether it's through your iPhone or your Blackberry or over the internet or phone banking, whatever it is, all those channels have changed. And then I would say that the risks are higher because the products and the markets are far more complex than they used to be. Well, I think the governance is much better than it ever has been in the past. Uh, in fact, I would say TD has adopted the best governance principles amongst any um, corporations worldwide. I'll give you an example, we were the first to split the CEO and the chair amongst the Canadian banks back in 2002. And we've adopted many of the leading governance practices, you know, before they became standard. Well, I'm delighted to be turning the chair over to Brian Levitt, effective January 1st, 2011. Uh, Brian is a terrific director. He knows banking, he's very bright, and he has a very strong relationship with all of the board directors as well as senior management. So I think he's a terrific choice.